What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the permanent autopilot uh, bug that is caused by sentry mode. So as you can see right now, I'm driving, there's a car to my left, uh, it can't pick it up, it can't pick up any of the lines. Autopilot will not work. So <laughs> the morning that this happened to me, which would be yesterday morning, I actually went on a three hour drive and it was not a lot of fun without autopilot, let me tell you. So. Uh, autopilot, not working, no good. So why does this happen? It is sentry mode. So I put out a tweet saying, hey, this is my situation, this is my problem, and I uh, got back direct messages, comments, uh, videos, and I did all sorts of research. And the general consensus is, or the general like common denominator amongst all the replies was it is sentry mode. Sentry mode is messing up autopilot in the latest Tesla release, which would be, uh, 2019.16.2 so that's the release i'm running i have sentry mode on so every time i park sentry mode pops on and starts saving so sentry mode is messing up autopilot and it's just kind of interesting that the morning that this happened to me my aunt came over and she wanted to see sentry mode so she actually came up to my car and she's like how come nothing's on the screen and i couldn't figure it out. I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I'll figure it out later. I'll show you afterwards. She's like, no worries, no worries. And that whole day, when I wanted like a three hour drive that day too, the whole day there was no autopilot. So definitely sentry mode and autopilot are connected. Like the sentry mode bug is affecting autopilot. And yeah, so no autopilot, no tack, uh, no nothing. You can see there's no lines as I'm driving. So how do we fix this? I'm going to take you back uh, to my driveway and then we're gonna correct this situation correct this problem so let's go all right so there seems to be two ways to fix this and i want to point out real quick before we get into the two ways resetting your screen uh or doing like a full reset shutting off your car will not fix the issue so the first way uh to fix this is you go to safety and security uh you go over here to sentry mode and shut it off and then you also want to take out your usb stick and like so you want to take out your usb stick and you just want to let your car sit for an hour or so and after a hour uh the problem will be fixed uh it's more along the lines of sentry mode crashing uh while your car is sitting there for a long period of time and it just messes up autopilot but nonetheless that's number one uh the second way is you can call the 1-800 tesla number and apparently they can send a patch uh, to your car that fixes this issue. So those are the two ways. Uh, All right, guys, I just want to show you real quick that it did work. Uh, navigation on autopilot is working now when I navigate to a location where it never appeared before because there was no autopilot. So definitely fix the problem. Just want to point it out. But hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, it was a real pain. Uh, and I wish I knew this information before my three hour trip, uh, three hour drive it would have been a much more pleasant drive. So, as always, like the video, leave a comment down below if it helped you, or if you have any suggestions, a better way to how to fix this, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you guys are subscribed for the latest and greatest Tesla content. Do new stuff on a week-to-week -week basis. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Most importantly, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.